not all patients are candidates for plastic surgery. I am Dr. Jean Chonko. I am a plastic surgeon. I am based in St. Luke's Medical Center in Global City. I am also the board secretary of the Philippine Association of Plastic, Reconstructive and Aesthetic Surgeons, or the PAPRAS. Plastic surgery basically is a subspecialty of general surgery. Uh, in order to be a plastic surgeon, you need to take up general surgery and take three more years of a specialty in plastic surgery. The most common procedures done are usually breast augmentation, rhinoplasty, liposuction, abdominoplasty, and eye bag removal. As early as age 18, as long as the patient can consent on her own, the patient is eligible or a good candidate for plastic surgery. When to do Botox or surgery, it actually depends on the need or the expectation of the patient. If the patient wants a more drastic appearance or a more drastic look, then the offer of surgery is given. If a patient wants minimal appearance or minimal changes or transformation, then the offer of Botox is actually given. It actually also depends on the doctor as to which is more suited for the patient. So the patient should always be given the option of surgical and non-surgical procedure. A plastic surgeon has a more complete training because a plastic surgeon can deal with reconstruction and cosmetic surgery. Plastic surgeon is certified by the Philippine College of Surgeons because he has undergone a complete training of his specialty. A cosmetic surgeon only takes up cosmetic surgery and is not even a qualified surgeon because in the first place, he did not take up general surgery. Second, the training matters. A plastic surgeon trains in an accredited hospital whereas a cosmetic surgeon trains not in a hospital but in other centers. And lastly, when I say a plastic surgeon, a plastic surgeon is one who is qualified to practice in major hospitals here in the Philippines, whereas a cosmetic surgeon has not have enough credentials to practice in the big hospitals here in Manila. Pain is relative. The first thing the plastic surgeon should do is to put the patient at ease or give comfort to the patient, especially after the procedure. So if it's painful or not, it depends on the type of procedure. The more drastic or the more invasive the procedure, the longer that there is pain. Of course, this pain will always be controlled by the plastic surgeon. For a longer procedure such as breast augmentation, pain could last two to three days. For a short procedure such as Botox or a less invasive procedure, pain goes away in a matter of minutes or less than a few hours. When to say no? Not all patients are candidates for plastic surgery. Good candidates are patients who are medically cleared to perform surgery. These are also patients whose expectations are realistic. And these are also patients who give full disclosure to their plastic surgeons. As a plastic surgeon, my advice to women is to choose your doctor wisely. Choose a qualified doctor, choose a board certified doctor. Number two, as a patient, you should be prepared physically to undergo the different laboratories for you to have a safe surgery. And number three is to choose the right facility. The facility has to be safe, is accredited by the healthcare institution. Be informed so you can live a meaningful life.